Turkey assists farmers in South Sudan. In support of the South Sudanese government and the South Sudan Farmers Union, the Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency, or TICA, distributed 2,600 kilograms of seeds and 2,500 farming tools to over 1,000 farmers on the periphery of the capital city of Juba. Tools such as rakes, axes, sickles, and hoes were provided, as were a variety of seeds including peanuts, sorghum, maize, tomato, onion, okra and sesame. Turkish ambassador to South Sudan, His Excellency Erdem Mutaf, reaffirmed Turkey's ongoing commitment to aid South Sudan and help improve the living conditions for its citizens. Chief Manasseh Wall of the Kumbu region expressed his gratitude to Turkey for furnishing farmers with these vital supplies, which has raised morale and enabled them to continue their farming work. Turkey is a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion recipient and a laureate of five Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection and Good Governance. Thank you, Turkey, for supporting the industrious farmers in South Sudan. In the Divine's blessings, may all enjoy the abundant harvests offered by the diligent farmers. Greenland's changing climate exposes more older snow, creating faster melting ice. Weather patterns that began to emerge over Greenland in the 1990s are now causing rapid acceleration of ice melt and runoff onto the island, likely the highest rate in 7,000 years. Researchers at Dartmouth College in the USA shared the information in a recent study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. High pressure systems that occur over Greenland's ice sheet decrease snowfall and are also associated with reduced cloud cover and retention of warm air. The lack of fresh snow in turn drives ice melt because older, darker snow that reflects less sunlight remains on the surface. A 1% change in reflectivity across Greenland's ice sheet would cause an additional 25 gigatons of ice to be lost over three years. We pray that humans will heed the messages of researchers in view of these life-threatening risks. May we now immediately take climate cooling actions, including ending all animal factories to preserve our planetary home in heaven's support. Japan's first bus train hybrid vehicles prepare to start service. Japanese public transportation company ASA Seaside Railway, or ASA, in Tokushima Prefecture has developed an innovative fleet of buses that can run on both roads and rails to replace all of its trains. Called the dual-mode vehicle, the hybrid 23-seater two-in-one vehicle can turn into a mini-train when a button is pushed, allowing it to run on tracks. As ASA director Hihara Toyoki explained, the model was designed to give ASA an economic boost. Approximately 75% less fuel will be used and maintenance expenses are expected to drop significantly. He stated that although the vehicle serves just a small number of passengers per car, it is adequate for a rural area. Thank you, ASA Seaside Railway, for providing this practical transportation option for Japanese commuters. In celestial wisdom, may many more green multi-purpose inventions like this be created to help conserve Earth's precious resources. United Kingdom to restrict advocacy of foods high in fat, salt and sugar. The United Kingdom government has announced it will limit the advertisement and promotion of foods in retail stores that are high in fat, sugar and salt, also known as HFSS. The restrictions are to help the people of the nation improve their health as well as deal with the obesity and overweight epidemic, which currently affects one-third of children, leaving primary schools and 63% of adults in England. Additionally, the new rules will prohibit free refills of sugary drinks in eating establishments, buy one get one free sales tactics for HFSS products, advertising such items on television before 9 p.m. and more. The new limitations will come into effect in October 2022. The United Kingdom is a laureate of the Shining World Leadership for Caring Award, Shining World Wise Leadership Award and Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection, Animal Protection and Kindness. Our praises, United Kingdom Government for your wise actions to control the promotion of foods high in fat, salt and sugar. In the light of heaven, may the British people turn towards the health-filled plant-based diet for ideal well-being. 
United States centenary animal rights activist honored for decades of service. 102-year-young animal rights activist Holly Reynolds of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, has been recognized by state lawmakers for her 60 years of animal advocacy. Ms. Reynolds has lobbied for stronger bills with higher penalties for animal abusers, volunteered at and donated to her favorite animal shelters, rescued stray dogs and cats, as well as encouraged others to be kind and loving towards animals. The compassionate activist also established the North Shore Human Society, the Coalition of Animal Advocates, or COLA, and the Capital Area Animal Welfare Society, or COS. When presented with an honorary legislative resolution saluting her and signed by the Governor of Louisiana, the Honorable John Bell Edwards, Ms. Reynolds stated, We have to help the animals. They can't help themselves, so it's up to us to do it for them. Three cheers and a standing ovation, Ms. Holly Reynolds. In the Providence's abundant love, may you be forever blessed for your unwavering and tireless dedication to protect the animals. Swiss Flavor Company uses artificial intelligence to recreate the taste of meat from plants. Leading flavor and fragrance company Firminic has leveraged artificial intelligence to help produce meat-like flavors from plants. Algorithms scan a database of thousands of different ingredients and work out how to combine them in different ways based on objectives, which has resulted in the company producing a barbecued meat taste entirely from plants. Firmenich CEO Gilbert Gostein explained that the plant-based trend would be growing stronger and stronger in the future. Way to go, Firmenich, for your high-tech approach to using plants to replicate the taste people are accustomed to. May your technology help to spur further advancement in the field of vegan alternatives to animal protein as the world's people shift to the compassionate way in heaven's infinite grace. Smart stray dog in Brazil chooses his own veterinarian for emergency treatment. To the surprise of the veterinary team in Inguatu, Brazil, a homeless black and white canine calmly walked into the pet clinic on his own to ask for help. Dr. Igor Holenda discovered that the pup had a serious cut on his neck. Dr. Holenda said, I feel privileged to be able to help. God guided this animal to my clinic so I could take care of him. Dr. Holenda will continue treatment until he fully recovers. The canine is now with a local animal welfare organization and waiting to be adopted. How wonderful it is to witness the intelligence and sentience of this lovely dog. Our sincere appreciation, Dr. Igor Holenda, for your unconditional, attentive and timely assistance to a precious being. May all animals be loved and protected in God's watchful gaze.